Hello, people of New World, it's me, Lamani, and welcome back to the channel. If you didn't know, I made this neat little video a while back talking about how you could prep for season two uh, approximately three weeks ago and how you could be making tons of gold and get raid ready. And that all revolves around Beast War. A little bit of a hint on to like getting ready for this big event, but... I might uh, as well. It'll be in PTR, but yeah. Yeah, the, the Sandworm is a beast enemy, so keep that in mind. And I just wanted to say, you know, you could scroll through some comments. They're going to make it Angry Earth. Kind of weird, you know, I guess, maybe. Hey, you know, a little bit of a data mining. It's going to be Angry Earth. Data mining, Angry Earth. Maybe like uh, LMAO, no one has ever done this event, but many seem to think they know everything about it. All of these get-rich-quick schemes are just for noobs and clickbait. Many others seem to think that the worm will be Angry Earth. Also, if it is an open event, the 50 people will show up and mostly just trash gear to destroy this thing in a few minutes. Get wrecked, nerds! I was right because this worm is beast. So, as such... Because I am a kind, sweet-hearted soul that doesn't want you to just make monetary gains from this. I'm going to tell you how to get all the best Beast Ward gear for free just by using a little bit of your blood, sweat, and tears. Let's dive into it. All right, so what we're going to need to do revolves around this trial right here, the Eternal Pool with the big old looking mushroom man. And let's talk a little bit about it. Well, if you do a quick little search on the interwebs, you can find out that there are some guaranteed Beast Ward refreshing rolls with then random attribute and random perk. So you would have a little bit of RNG involved with some of this, but you could get multiple. But if we start to look at this light armor set, there is also a medium and a heavy. Where does it actually come from? Well, it's something called a protector's equipment cache. Well, what drops the protector's equipment cache? Boom. It's the boss right there where we were planning to do the trial. So you start to see what I'm, what I'm talking about here. Yeah, you have to spam a trial over and over and over again and make sure you're level 60 when you're doing this. But there is a pretty solid chance that you can start to get this Mossborn set. And like I was saying, there is a heavy version. There is refreshing ward on that one. So it could be good for tanks even. And then the medium pieces would also be viable in a light setup. So for those of you who don't know, you can run either two pieces between medium helmet, gloves, and boots. So two out of those three can be medium, but then you'd have to go light chest. Or you can go one of those three with a medium pant, or you can just go medium chest piece and then the rest light. So it depends on what your RNG is like and what actual rolls you get from this. Yes, there's far less control. And if you start to look at the total number of drops, honestly, a lot of it is named legendary drops and the chance of getting those is actually lower. But some of these, yes, they can drop as well. But when we're starting to look, our likelihood of maybe hitting a Mossborn piece, we get the guaranteed Beast Ward and Refreshing. It's not like we're rolling all complete random perks and it just has a higher perk pool. These are guaranteed to be on it. You could potentially get that three perk bis or you just run the two perk like most people do for PVE anyway. You can take a look at all these possible drops to see if there's anything that's tickling your fancy, but this is a consistent free way other than having to get the arena orbs to actually get these, but pumping out protectors equipment caches so that you can farm all of this up on your own and who knows, maybe get a couple of other things along the way. Now, yes, there will be the common people in the comments saying, oh, this is stupid. Let me just go craft these myself. Yeah, go ahead. You can do that, but we have to start factoring in cost. You are going to need a scarab, which can be between 1.5 to 2K gold. We're going to say 2K for the sake of rounding. We then would need three timeless shards. If you look at light pieces, these are typically the most expensive. So for instance, if I needed three timeless shards for just one roll with a scarab, I would be spending about another 2K. So we'd be sitting there around 4K. Well, then we have to factor in our attribute mods. And in PVE, people do not want con. So yeah, Iron Guardsmen are cheaper right now, but most people will be looking for strength, dex, int rolls, those sorts of things. And those are running around at least 100 per. And you need 25 every time you roll with a scarab. So we're going to be sitting around 2.5K. So now we're at 6.5K. Well, next, we also need our actual perk mods. And right now, Beast Wards are only like 100 gold, so we won't even consider that. But then the refreshing mods are around 3K or higher, depending on your server. So now we're sitting around that 9.5 to 10K threshold just with that. And now you have to factor in your actual materials. So going into Runic, getting Phoenix Weave, getting Asmodium, and you're going to see that these rolls per when you're using a Scarab are well over 10K. 
And that's going to be more effective than just getting a bunch of the event shards, crossing your fingers, and spam rolling because you are going to need a lot of materials and the odds you hit a beast ward refreshing are going to be rather low. This is a way that you can force that type of roll you're looking for, for PvE bis, potentially roll legendary, but at least get two perk options and have something to do until the raid comes out. And the bright side to this is, this is all you're going to need in order to run the trial over and over again. The material cost is far lower than the per item crafting cost, and again, you have options to get more gold from spam running it. So, do this if you want to maximize your potential, and maybe you'll pull some three perk bis pieces, but you can definitely start trying to pull some two perkers all for free. This will give you something to do in the meantime until your raid comes out. And I hope this helps some of you who are PvE grinders. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And thank you to every single one of you beautiful people for being you. Peace.